going on my YouTube family? Welcome back everybody. I am that wood guy where I have got plenty of hair, hair for all, and hair for all who's lacking. <laughs> How many times will I say that before that joke gets old? We are out here today near the equipment shed doing our board and batten install, the ash board and batten install. And I've got the one and only that wood girl out here working on it with me installing these beautiful ash board and batten strips. And I got Mama Grizz, of course, the one and only, sealing away with boiled linseed oil, sealing up the shed, the overhangs, and the ash board and batten strips as they're being installed. It's a beautiful process I have going out here, and look at them, I just have everybody working for me, and I get to sit around and observe and do nothing. <laughs> but no, I love you guys, and... Mama Grizz and that wood girl, I love you. Thank you so much for the help out here. I wanted to share with you, my friends, on how nice it is to seal this pine and what it does for me in the future for elements and keeping the bugs and all the weather and staining off of the shed. If you guys noticed on the back edge here, I've applied some stone to start. I'm going to wrap it around the remaining three sides of the shed and probably the front driveway as well just to make everything nice and high and dry. We have a little temporary miter saw station that that wood girl is working away on. Nothing fancy here, but an outdoor setup. And this is what we're installing is our ash board and batten strips. And they are two inches wide by three eighths thick. And this is how it's coming along. She's doing a beautiful job. And of course, Mama Grizz, you can see the pine has been sealed behind the batten strips. And now we're installing the batten strips and they will be sealed. So it's a very good process to get everything all sealed up. The overhangs are all sealed. And Mama Grizz just working away. Not only does she have just, I can't even list the amount of woodworking projects under her hand. Now she has a whole building under her belt. <laughs> With a lot ceiling and right there, a brush all by hand. No. No spray gun for Mama Grizz. No. It's all done by hand, worked into the wood, which personally I believe is your most durable finish. And that's just perfectly done, in my opinion, by that wood girl. You guys will see here, we're going to wrap around the three remaining sides. I've wrapped up my overhangs. Got my that wood guy sign all all sealed and ready for winter. You guys, I finished my strips on the remaining opening of the shed here. And I have to finish applying the stone around the edges and my batten strips and then my doors. Stone is also going to go inside of the equipment shed as well. You, Come here. Leave the nail gun alone. Come. Leave it alone. You don't need to mess with it. You were doing fine with me the other day. But now you got to show off on video. No. Come here. Hey. Come here. <laughs> don't you even think about it. Just leave it alone. I have big plans for the inside of this equipment shed, my friends. It's not only going to serve just the storage for the equipment, which I'm just happy about to have my machines under some cover, but also this little room over here, I'm going to turn into a utility room, accessory, saw room for my chainsaws, chainsaw sharpening, processor sharpening, and or maybe, you know, a cool little hangout area just to be able to come in and have live streams with the whole crew and everybody in there just hanging out. <laughs> but my plans are to be able to finish this off all inside with all wood from the wood miser, sealing, finishing the sides, but hopefully wrapping everything up here before we get the real heft of our winter. And the inside of the shed on the ground is going to be finished with some nice stone. I'll probably start with a Number two, crush and run. And then on top of that, I'm going to use the, the fine dust to make a nice top layer. And that should pack really nice for Argy, Big Bob, and Little Bob. And Little John, the John Deere 
I also have the metal that goes along the overhangs here, guys. It wraps to the top of the metal roof. That's going to cap off the edge of the overhangs. Mama girl's whistling while you work. That's right. Gotta do. Oh man, what was that? Oh, she freaked me out. I thought I got hit with something. <laughs> Shooting males at you. Oh, <laughs> listen to these two. Lindsay Gotta keep an eye on them over here. So, guys, you'll. If anybody's picked up on. On it by now, maybe drop down in the comments. Faith, come here. But uh, hey. when it gets later at night here, we'll, we'll show you what we got going on around the shed and if you guys haven't picked up on it already.